Hi, welcome to Star Stable. That's a different intro. <laughs> oh, piece of trash in the background. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Lance. Lance, was it you? Lance, did you drop that can? Anyways, hi. If you don't know me, I'm just another pixel cast and uh, I don't ride very often in real life. And uh, I've had people say things like, wow, you don't ride in real life. That changes my opinion on you. And to you, I ask, why? Fair, like... I'm sorry that I'm not the most horse knowledgeable person, but uh, I think riding in Australia is just really expensive compared to like other parts of the world for some reason. I don't know, but basically it's always been too expensive to ride for my family because it's like over $100 a week. And now that I've moved out, I don't have a lot of time and if I did have time it's over two hours away from me and once again, still over $100 a week. <laughs> It's expensive. It does it does make me sad. I am going to be doing a training rambles video tomorrow, which is like a podcast where I talk all about my like riding experience in real life and the times that I have ridden because I used to ride a lot more as a kid. I say a lot more. It was like once a year or once or twice a year compared to like once every few years as I got older. But anyways, that's it's because a lot of things in my life changed. Like we moved states and everything so everything changed but once again that's for the that's for the training episode tomorrow but i asked my mom a couple of weeks ago because i've had this video planned for a couple of weeks <laughs> i asked her if she had any pictures of me riding but she didn't seem to think so um probably because when i was a kid like phones existed but they weren't like the camera quality that you have nowadays and I just don't think my parents were super interested in like taking photos. So, you know, we kind of lived in the moment whenever we went horse riding. So the only picture that I have access to right now of me riding a horse, if I sound distracted, is because I'm trying to find it on my phone. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Nope, that's... Where is it? Help. Oh my gosh. Hello? Hello? Anyways, the newest one that I have is kind of very new. There they are, oh my gosh. These were taken in 2021. They were taken a year and a half ago. So this was in January, 2021. I'll pop it on the screen right now. Obviously I didn't take this picture. The person who was leading the trail ride took this picture. She was very lovely. Um, don't judge my riding posture because obviously I wasn't riding in this moment. We were given the horses a rest and stuff. I went to this lady twice last year. My sister did it for my birthday, which is, bless her, I love her. And um, I would love to go horse riding again, but it's just not very reasonable for me right now. Anyway, so this is literally the only picture I have of me atop of horse. And honestly, it's not the best picture, but you know what, I'm not gonna... Why is the horse sound so loud? I'm not gonna... <laughs> attack of photography anyways i reckon i might be able to like if i had access to our old photo drives back at my parents house you know not very easy to get to when you live halfway across the country but <laughs> i i swear i might be able to find something maybe maybe the pictures that i have in mind are just you know memories in my brain and photos weren't actually taken anyways the point is that this is the only picture I have. This is the one we're going to be recreating. So let's get started. I have no idea what breed of horse this horse is. Um, we probably asked the lady, but I'm just not very good at horse breeds in real life. I'm pretty sure he might have been like a thoroughbred mix. And I'm so sorry, but I can't remember this horse's name. My sister might be able to help me, but also it is currently midnight right now. And this video is going out tonight. It's meant to go up in an hour. That's not going to happen, but yeah, I can't remember this horse's name. Um, this is actually, I think, the first time I'd ridden in like six years. But then we went riding a couple of weeks later and I rode a different horse, but the lady never sent through the pictures and we just didn't want to bug her about it. So yeah, um, I'm thinking of a horse and I'm trying to find it. Look, okay, Orange Boy kind of works for this because he's got like the blaze on his face. And he's the chestnut horse. By the way, chestnut horses are gorgeous. Like, this horse was gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love him. Um, maybe this was the second time we went riding. Gosh, I can't remember. The first time I went riding, I went on a karma horse because obviously I hadn't ridden in over six years. But then the second time I went riding last year, I went on one of the, like, taller... Um, he was taller and 
not necessarily like more energetic or something i don't know he just wasn't like basic be beginner and everything it was very fun oh my gosh this is making me like want to ride so bad okay look the only thing that's stopping me from picking orange boy is because he's a generation one horse and you guys might be like ew that horse is ugly which you know what you do not speak to Orange Boy like that, um, but also he can't wear the new English tack, which is unfortunate. Um, so here we have Winter Velvet or Centennial because Winter Velvet, he was my 100th horse, um, which he does have the blaze in his face actually, but obviously it's, <laughs> you're not going to get something perfect, but he also has socks, which this horse does not have any socks at all, or it's got like really small ones. Um... I feel like I feel like Chester might be the best option. I feel like he's not chestnut enough. Like this is a very muted orangey color, whereas the horse is was definitely more of a fiery chestnut in real life. But he's got the smaller socks and uh, the smaller blaze. I don't know. I feel like we're just not gonna get something very good. And uh, chestnut was the horse that came to my mind first, so I guess we should just use chestnut maybe i'm not too sure let's go figure out something for the for the tack now this is the only angle i have and if you think my memory is good enough to remember what the saddle blanket looked like a year and a half ago you are incorrect i have the memory of a goldfish um that is a saying goldfish are actually very smart creatures the point being i have a bad memory I, I can't remember things very well. You can't wear the new- Oh, you can wear the new stuff. Okay, that doesn't help because obviously this is a no nose band bridal thing. Look, that one looks kind of good. I think it is a brown one. Let me see if I zoom in. I think it is brown. It's like a very dark brown one. Obviously, the reins are different. But, uh, you know, this is star stable, not some creator something <laughs> okay now definitely it was a western saddle i feel like i don't know whenever i go to like trail maybe it's an australian thing maybe it's like an outback australian thing but people just ride western around i don't yeah it's a brown western one um more like maybe not as light as this but this might be the best one that we have for it i'm uh, pretty sure there's like a slightly darker one it's not very orange though hmm like it's not this dark, it's like in between. In between this one and this one. Where is it? Is it maybe this one? Maybe this one will work. Now, I'm pretty sure the saddle blanket is like a fluffy one. And um, obviously, like, it looks fluffy. So, the only thing that comes to mind is something like this. Which, oh my gosh, you literally can't even see the that it's fluffy. Oh, I genuinely have no idea what to do. I think I'm just going to do like a cream colored saddle thing this looks this one just looks bad but it's got the fluff in it oh my gosh this is not going well i need to ride more often or find more pictures to uh recreate in the future let me know if you guys want me to dig deeper to find something look this isn't the best but it looks fine now technically it's not a saddlebag it's a water holder but <laughs> if you can't tell actually no i had my water bottle in the car but i'm probably not the most hydrated person on the world I'm sorry, I'm a terrible example, but I kind of want to use it because um, I just like the idea of chucking on a green saddle bag, you know, I feel like it, it completes the vibe, maybe something like that, I don't know, I just like this color better than like, I don't know, this one, <laughs> so it's very out there. Is there any other green saddle bags that I'm missing maybe? Um, Literally no, we have a camo one, which is kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, this one kind of this one kind of works ish. Maybe. Do I have it in my home stable or is it on a horse? I'm not putting it past me. I reckon it's on a horse. Um oh no, there it is. Maybe I should do this one because I feel like it's slightly closer. Slightly smaller or something. Oh my gosh, and you know what? We could totally like put a drink in there because there's a smoothie obviously like <laughs> imagine taking like not a smoothie or a milkshake yeah it's a milkshake imagine taking a milkshake and you're trotting along oh my gosh I feel like that would end in disaster let's move on to my gorgeous outfit now obviously I was wearing my old glasses now I feel kind of embarrassed showing this picture because obviously like I'm not posed for it or anything but you know what she's fine um let's see i'm wearing good old sneakers those sneakers are probably like seven years old i'm gonna be honest i totally need new sneakers because they are falling apart um 
but you know when you when you don't ride in seven years you know i don't keep a i've never owned riding boots because we've just never like you know ridden that often oh my gosh people are gonna cancel me for not being a horse rider i'm so sorry i would if i could have i would if i could but i can't okay um oh, shoes shoes are hard to come by sneakers in this game i kind of like the pair that i have on like here um i have to buy them which you know what they're nice sneakers i'm not mad although i that's 32 slots left people 32 slots left in the closet you know what it's fine that's good let's get some jeans on because you know <laughs> i don't i don't own jodhpurs or anything okay this is the fun part finding my jeans in my closet there is the most specific pants that I'm looking for. They used to be the only pants in the game which had plus five jump, uh, plus five riding. Um, they're like, just called like black jeans or something or like Jorvik black jeans. I need like binoculars to be able to see all the tiny items right now. The day that Star Stable comes out with an updated closet system is the day that I will... I've cried to a lot of updates actually. It's the day, it's it's just gonna be the best update in the entire world. I will cry, I will, I will possibly um, ex explode. <laughs> As I said, <laughs> it is midnight right now. I think I'm going a little bit like stir crazy or something. I am bro, I don't even know. Isn't stir crazy when you like don't go outside though? No, I've gone outside. I'm looking for these jeans because I'm pretty sure they're slightly too short. Like, they show some skin forbid that the ankle is showing. But I'm a tall person. And as you can see in this picture, my ankles, my ankles do be, do be showing because I'm a tall person. And they just don't make pants long enough for my legs. Um, I can't find these pants at all. Oh my gosh. I literally... Mm -hmm. oh, I found them. Black jeans. They're literally just called black jeans. And you see, there's a lot more ankle showing, but it gets the vibe across that I'm a tall person. Um, bro, do we even have striped stuff in Star Staple? Um, so this is like a red striped shirt. I got it from an op shop or a thrift store, whatever you call it in your country. Um, originally it's, you know, just from Big W. It's nothing too fancy in case you were wondering. I don't know there's something okay we could swap it out for a jumper i am one to wear a lot of jumpers um there might be like a singlet like this but in red i'm not too sure oh wait no there's a black and red one is in there i'm not too sure there is this one but it's more of like an orangey color which i'm not sure i think i prefer doing the jumper instead let's have a look at what i already own i just i like this i like jumpers what can i say I kind of just want to go for it. I know it's not the same, but it's fine. Now, let's get a lovely helmet on. I'm not sure that we have anything which has, like, those V shapes, actually. We might, but we might not. I guess, like, this could be considered some sort of a V. Okay, look up, look up. Bro, look up. Like kind of not why does okay you guys said that not everyone's game does this like why does my computer do this i'm it's it drives me crazy like how am i meant to make an outfit when it when everything is always disappearing i can't speak bro maybe something okay it is more of like a gray jumper i mean mm, um shirt um <sighs> helmet helmet i kind of like this vibe because it looks somewhat cheaper i think i'm gonna go for this one and i can buy it with my shillings always good is it actually a good helmet no it does not have good riding stats at all now um i'm super classy and um no gloves for me is that everything it kind of makes me sad how like boring this outfit is like i'm just kind of done well obviously okay okay this was made okay I didn't start wearing makeup until I got my new glasses because, um, well, my parents, like, I don't know, they never really, I don't think my dad liked me wearing makeup. I don't know about my mom. I don't, I don't really know. But when I got my glasses, I started wearing mascara and then I learned how to do eyeliner in like literally December. Changed my life. 
and um yeah anyway that's the story of that so we're going bare face obviously we still look fine <laughs> in the game let's see oh i should have i still need to be there we need to see if i already own a brown ponytail because it's always oh my gosh moira just fell on top of me basically if i'm ever doing recreation things or like whenever i'm making new characters or like in games i'm like do i go by cassandra mcbell or i do i go by in real life me now i don't think i actually have a brown ponytail where can you buy brown ponytails hmm. technically my hair in this picture isn't in a ponytail it's in like a half lazy it's where you you're doing a ponytail and on like the third loop of your hair tie you don't pull your hair through all the way i do that because my hair is really long and um it usually falls out because my hair was a lot shorter in that picture but my hair was falls out anyways it's just really heavy and long and whatever but anyways yeah i'm pretty sure i have it tied in one of those kind of things like under the helmet maybe it is just in a ponytail either way we don't have little half tie ponytail things that i put my hair in so we're just gonna have to find a i'm making things up right now like i'm just going to cape west fishing village because i think it's there i have i i actually don't know if it's here anyways we have to do a ponytail in Star Stable, whether I like it or not. I, I feel like, I feel like, hang on, I feel like, it, in real life, like, how many people actually dress up in, like, such fancy outfits that we wear in Star Stable? Like, I feel like if I was to actually ride in real life, I would not look as organized as I do in Star Stable, like, my shirt matches my saddle blanket i just don't think that's a realistic thing especially if you're like on a budget okay we do have a hair here hair here i think this might be the only one uh doesn't look like my hair let's just buy it i mean it is only 30 star coins so it's fine it's obviously a lot shorter than no thank you it's a lot shorter than what my hair is in real life, but we just don't have long ponytails. I'm really hoping to get some more- Oh gosh, I just realized I'm exposing myself even though I've already told you guys it's midnight. I'm so sorry, it was dark. It was dark. Like, I'm hoping when we get new characters, we'll get like a ton more hairstyles as well because I crave more hairstyles. Like, I crave longer ones, I crave buns, but also buns would look really weird under a helmet because it'll look like the Jojo Siwa bows. Like, you just won't be able to see them. Realistically, you couldn't put your hair in a bun and like put a helmet on top of it. Anyways, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm happy with this horse horse. Um, no, I'm sure it's fine. Like, does it look like the picture? Um, I guess like to recreate the picture, it's really nothing. Let's just, let's go back to Starshine Ranch. Oh, I can just call for pickup. I was about to trailer there because uh, I've only recently moved my home stable. I was going to move it back, but I, I like Starshine Ranch because it's got a field. So we can just like, I don't know if we're going to get the right picture for it, but you know what? It's fine. The place that I went to was kind of like Starshine Ranch. Definitely not like super ranchy. Um, but they were Outback, Western, you know. The places that I've gone to, like, people get up about in Star Stable. They're like, that's not Western. Like, I put English bridles with Western tack and vice versa and everything. But, I don't know. I was going to talk about helmets. Just because, like, maybe that's just a stereotype from when I was a kid. Where, like, Western people wear Western hats and then English people ride helmets. And I was just going to say that every single time I've ridden... Pretty sure it's always been on Western Tack that I've ridden, and I've always worn a helmet, obviously, because safety first when you're a child riding. I don't know. Um, I also think that they use a lot of Western for like the trail rides I went on because they have like the horn which you can hold on to. Ugh, I can't wait to talk about my riding experiences with you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I'm really gonna get a good picture. Like, okay, Chester, Chester's head. I was, I almost said chestnut. Chester's head is too high. It's this weird like camera angle where obviously it's kind of like fish-eyed in a way where like you're really zoomed in, but it's like zoomed out. But Star Stable doesn't really let me get like that. Maybe it's kind of like this if if Chester put his head down more like the thoroughbreds are very okay obviously i feel like this looks better but the horse is standing still in the picture bro i don't think i'm gonna get a very good angle but hopefully you guys kind of get the get the vibe anyways um 
it's quite late so i don't have time to make a montage i'm very sorry let me know in the comments below if i should fish around for some more writing pictures i genuinely have no idea if i have any more i might have some videos back from when i did some horse riding um in grade six which was seven years ago the last time i rode before 2021 um because i took my camera and i think my dad might have done some stuff like filmed or at least taken pictures but i'm not sure how many he actually took i genuinely can't remember but i'd love to i'd love to do this again if you guys want to see it um uh <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you guys ride horses and um, I don't know. I, I don't know. This was this was just kind of fun to do. You know, I kind of just felt like sharing my in real life riding experiences with you guys because a lot of people ask me about it, which, you know, probably figures because we play a horse game. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye. Bye.